everyone. Welcome to another informative episode of Healthy Living Talks to Pain. When is the appropriate time for your baby's cord to fall off? So I hear this question a number of times, especially for first-time mothers. The cord stump that is left when the placenta is de detached from the baby after delivery needs special care so that the child doesn't come down with infection. Or oftentimes, mothers see it as a burden, so they are in a haste for the cord to fall off. And then they apply different objects. Some apply hot objects, some apply hot bath, hot water. Some people use unwholesome drugs. And I have even heard some people use toothpaste on the cord so that it can fall off. These are unwholesome practices. Please allow the cord to dry and fall off naturally. Even though you feel that the cord is hanging on a thin thread, please allow it to fall naturally. Here are a few things that you can do to make sure your baby is healthy and the cord looks healthy. The first thing is wash the cord area when you're bathing your baby and allow it to dry. When you're wearing a diaper, please do not tuck in the cord into the diaper. Bring it out of the diaper and then you can wear the cloth. I'm not saying you should bring the cord out of the cloth. You can cover the stump with the cloth. Previously also, uh, methylated spirits or rubbing alcohol, some people call it rubbing alcohol, was used in cleaning the cord, especially after every diaper change or as often as possible. But recently, the gold standard is to use the chlorhexidine gel and apply it morning and night on the cord. You can watch out for these three things to know when there is danger with the cord of your baby. When there is a yellow fluid discharge, when there is active bleeding, or when the cord isn't drying at all. When you see any of these three things, you need to speak to your physician. So please do not be tempted to apply unwholesome drugs for the cord to fall off. Usually, a baby's cord will fall off within 7 to 15 days. You can have some babies fall within 5 to 6 days. But if the cord falls off too early, like the second day or third day, it exposes the child to the risk of infection. Also, if your baby's cord refuses to fall after four weeks or a month, it may be, not absolutely, it may be a sign that the immune system of that baby isn't strong enough or there is an anatomical disorder and you should speak to your physician. So before you apply unwholesome drugs or chemicals or objects on the cord of the baby, please know that it is healthy for the baby's cord to fall off naturally and it should be about between 7 to 15 days. Watch out for the danger signs I have described earlier for yellow discharge or shows there's an infection or if there's an active bleeding or the cord isn't drying off at all. I trust this information has been helpful. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more health information in a simplified way. If you would like to speak to a pharmacist on any of your medication, please click the link in the description box below and I'll be reaching across to you. Till I see you again, remember Google is your friend, but I am your professional. Cheers!